we will be announcing the winners of the award for most promising newcomer. And the winner is... Ed! <laughs> yep, so I guess you can call me Chuck, cause uh, that's my name. <laughs> Aircraft in charge, eh? Okay, Captain. Yes, sir, Captain. There you are, Mr. Quasimodo. One reincarnated terrapin as per your order. Thanks for shopping at the Transylvania Pet Shop. That will be 1,700 Transylvanian slotties. How much? That's astronomical. I'm not paying that. Oh, hello. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, that's just Reginald, my floating bubblefish. <laughs> I drone on and on and on, and lay claim to being the dullest character you will ever have the misfortune to encounter. In fact, you were unlucky to meet me at all, as I am the single most boring person in the entire English-speaking population of the world. Ta-da! One. Hey, good on you, back face! Reach loading with double slide back recoil. Long range, high velocity with optional silencer. There's no way Nasher's gonna talk to a police dog. So us fleas have gotta find out what's going on instead. I need a volunteer. I come in peace from the dog, Nasher. My mission is to find out what is going to happen to our dog. We've got a magical toast-o-matic Mark 10, a pair of twice as fast trainers, an ultra-light lamp, and last but not least, a never-wet umbrella. My word, that's just what this place needs. New gadgets and high-tech gizmos. Well, hi there, Sophia. You know, I've got a free house for a few days, all to myself, if you get my meaning. Well, how would you like to come over? You know, curl up on the sofa, a movie, a little supper, some dancing, etc., etc. Narcissists Notorious. Egomaniac Productions. Even so. Unctuously self-endeared, I'm sure. My car. Less a lifetime ego trip than a religious vocation of monstrous conceit. <laughs> Mine. Hi, I'm Eddie the Enzyme, your inside track special agent. I help break down the food you eat into the energy you need. I'm here to help Nikki and the rest of you with this technical stuff, so listen up. You've got trouble, my friends, right here in Transylvania town. That's trouble with a T, which rhymes with P, and that P stands for Pet Shop Price Rises. Uh, shouldn't that be two P's? Indeed it should, sir, but what's a P between friends? <laughs> Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her beneath the sumptuary swollen comfort of her duck-down floral duvet. And lo, 50% is cotton and 50% is polyester. Clack, clack. And so I, King Cuthbert, am a prisoner of my own death. And my brother Jasper is banished from our kingdom forever! And now, the whole story again, in song! <laughs> Lyrics by me, and of course sung by... Nice! <laughs> The pure cubist ethic was essentially Marx's. Wafflitics have been the sequestering by solipsism of an essentially leftist art form. Even gobbledygook took on a greater degree of responsibility for its social agenda. This painting worked because of the harmonization of the libidinally powerful with the functionally impeccant vertical horizontalism of structure. In a word, it works because it waffles. Uh, 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 surely it, it waffles owing to its workability. I mean, whether it is workable depends on one's acceptance of wafflitics as, as an independent woman. <laughs> <laughs>